Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You should save your design work frequently so that you do not lose your progress when designing reports. When you save a report for the first time, you must use the Save As dialog box. You can invoke this dialog box by choosing File from the menu bar and then choosing the Save As command. In the Save As dialog box, you use the Save In dropdown to select the folder or directory to which you want to save the report. After you've selected the appropriate folder, you then click into the File Name field and enter the name that you want to give to the report. When you're finished, click the Save button to save the report into the folder that you selected, giving it the name that you have specified. In the future, you can easily save changes that you make to a report by simply clicking the Save button in the standard toolbar or by choosing File and then the Save command from the menu bar. When you change a report and then save those changes, Crystal Reports will simply save the changes to the report to the same folder that you originally specified with the same name overwriting the original. Therefore, there is no dialog box involved when saving changes to a report that you've already saved once. However, if you ever wish to save a copy of the report that you are working on to another folder or with a different name, you will need to use the Save As dialog box to do that. So in that situation, simply choosing File and then the Save As command again from the menu bar will allow you to change either attribute using the Save As dialog box. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.